this is probably gonna be the most hipster thing I own. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. I personally am having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic 1 a.m. Uh, complete with cold coffee and everything. It's good. I have been on like an unboxing bonanza for the past few hours and uh, this box I am super excited to get into. This box is going to be just, just so different than most everything on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Brio box, which I think is a fairly new subscription. And it's also a different type of subscription, at least for this channel. It is not like a beauty related box. Inside what you're gonna find is like home stuff, health stuff, wellness stuff, lifestyle stuff. I think you're supposed to like continue counting on your fingers when you do that, but um, it, it's 1am here. So I just kept counting on the same one. This box is definitely on like the higher end price range. It's the most expensive box that I've ever unboxed on the channel, but hopefully what is inside is gonna have like a really great value I have actually done one of these unboxings before and unfortunately I somehow managed to lose all the footage Which is it's that's something that I would do. <laughs> it's something I have done many times before so <laughs> So I am excited to finally be able to show you guys what this box has to offer. This is not a sponsored video, but this box was sent to me by the company. Ooh, big bubble wrap. How do I get this out of here? Okay, so the box is, oh my gosh. So the actual box is like a really cool wooden box with a little sliding lid, which is nice because it could actually be used for like storage or something and it's nice and sturdy and won't break. Uh -oh. <gasps> Oh, oh my gosh, I literally just saw something that I'm so incredibly excited about, but I'm stuck underneath a little of this box. Give me a second. This probably looks absolutely ridiculous from your angle, but the, what's happening here is that the box is wedged between me and the table and the lid slides open like this. So I thought there'd be enough room to slide it out, but apparently there's not. So now I'm trying to rotate it because the lid's actually stuck inside the little sliding mechanism. Um. Anyway, yeah, that's what's happening. So let me just try not to decapitate myself real fast so I can get this turned around and get the lid off. Got it. All right, so I'm gonna save what I just like flipped out about for last because I'm, so, I'm so excited about this. But let's go ahead and look at this little first item here first. So the very first item we have is a blender bottle. Oh, that's fun. So this is a 26 ounce insulated bottle. There's a cute little sphere inside of here. Look how adorable. It's like a tiny round slinky. Okay, so this little blendy apparatus here you put inside of your bottle and if you need to blend like your smoothies, not smoothies. You, you need a real blender for that. If you need to blend like your protein powder or your supplements, things like that, you can put that inside of there and shake it up. It's kind of like a, a whisk without a handle. I take two like different little powdery things. Um, they're both kind of gross. They're collagen that's derived from like cow skin and fish skin. And that doesn't sound too appetizing. And it's, it's honestly not. They're supposed to be flavorless. But when I put like the cow one in my coffee, it tastes like beef gravy, which is not good. Um, but anyway, every now and then, <laughs> <laughs> sounds so gross. They kind of like chunk up and lump up if I don't whisk them really well with like a fork or something. So I could put them in here and like shake it up really good to actually get them like fully incorporated into whatever it is I'm drinking them with. They're supposed to like help my hair. I talk about my hair like how it falls out a lot and that's supposed to be helping with that. So um, I will definitely be using that to take my collagen. Oh, okay. That's something very different. Uh, This is a thermal ice cream scoop. We have a scoop that little dipper. Oh my gosh, is this like a personal individualized thermal spoon specifically made for eating ice cream? That's actually kind of fantastic. Okay, so here's the spoon itself. It's very different looking. Um, for my personal preferences, this is a little bit small for an ice cream scoop if you're like scooping it out of the container. Now, if this is a spoon to like shovel in ice cream just straight from the container, I could get behind that. This says, forge from a single block of solid aluminum. The little dipper is designed with just the right thermal characteristics to gently soften ice cream on contact. No ice cream spoon works better. This I really wish I could test out right now. I wish we had a pint of ice cream or a gallon, either one, uh, in the freezer, but I currently do not. I I like how this feels though and there's like a little no slip grip to it. I like the red on it as well and apparently it's also magnetic for like quick grab access anytime you just really need some ice cream. So this is super cool. I will um I'll definitely be giving this one a try. <laughs> oh okay next up we have something here designed by my people. This is a do dodo 
fall asleep faster thing. Uh, it says right there that it is designed by Insomniacs. And uh, yeah, that's, you know, that's basically, that sums me up. I can say I'm gonna go to bed at 10, I'm gonna get a full night's sleep, wake up at 7 a.m., be productive, and uh, then 3.30 rolls around and I'm looking at videos of how hermit crabs move from one shell to another. It is both fascinating but also kind of disturbing. Anyway, uh, that was basically my night last night. So this would be absolutely amazing. I'm not sure what it does, but it, oh, okay, it tells me on the back. It says, how does it induce sleep? Focusing on the light beam projected on the ceiling. Ooh, slows down the flow of your thoughts. That's one thing I struggle with quite a bit when I go to sleep at night. What I try to do is think of one storyline and I can tell myself a story and fall asleep. But some nights it's really, really hard for me. My brain kicks in and starts like spouting off different things, just like one after the other and I can't calm it down and have a really really hard time getting to sleep so that's super cool that it just like slows down your thoughts. It also says that the rhythm of the light gives a hypnotic effect and the relaxing activity helps you get rid of the churning thoughts that keep you awake. Oh I'm actually really excited about this because that's that's one thing that frustrates me so much is just I can't stop with like the rapid thoughts. It really does keep me awake at night so this is this is so I'm, I'm really really hoping that this works well. Okay so now Next up here, we have a little black box, and this is an Echo. There is not much information on it, so let me go ahead and cut on into it and we'll see what it is. There's also like a little card in here that should tell us like if what everything is and the prices of everything, so we'll look at that at the end. Oh, oh my gosh. Is that like a, is that a camera? Is there a whole camera in here? Oh my gosh, this looks like a GoPro or something. Oh, there's all sorts of like little equipment and stuff here on the bottom of the box, as well as a user manual. Yeah, this is an Echo Action Camera. That's pretty amazing. I didn't expect there to be a whole daggone camera in here. Wow, okay, I barely know how to use the, my own camera that I'm recording on right now, so this is definitely gonna take some like reading and research to figure out how this works. But this is honestly perfect. I really wish... Okay, I might have just ordered like a little vlogging camera to take with me to uh, Europe, which honestly, you could probably film everything you needed to on this. That little camera I ordered was also, um, <laughs> it was so way too much money and I feel bad now and I kind of want to like send it back because I'm sure I could just film like all our little travels on this thing as soon as I figure out how to use it because right now I have absolutely no idea. I think this is like a waterproof outer case though which is really cool. I'm just honestly blown away that this is inside this box. That's very very cool. I mean I'm super excited for that but that wasn't even like the initial thing that I was super excited for. What it actually was was this right here. It's a cold brew coffee maker. I'm so excited. So this is the OXO Brew Cold Brew Coffee Maker. It says you can easily brew enough concentrate for 14 coffee drinks. Really, really hard time getting to sleep. Now, I'm not sure exactly how strong they think you're supposed to make your cold brew. This would probably brew enough for like maybe seven drinks for me. We'll see. But um, I literally couldn't be more excited. It's 1.30 a.m. Should I go downstairs and make cold brew? So I can have it ready for tomorrow morning? That's a that's something I would actually do. And I, I, might, I might do it. I also drink at least one to two cold brews from Purdy's Coffee every single day. Really, really hard time getting to sleep. I can feel like a scientist while I'm making my cold brew. This is probably gonna be the most hipster thing I own. All right, so there are like a lot of different pieces to this little guy, but honestly, I've had it for four seconds and I've almost shattered the beaker. Anyway, so there are like a lot of different pieces to this. I cannot wait to read about it and try it out. Oh my gosh, I thought there was a spider crawling on me. Alright you guys, so that was everything inside the Brio box. I honestly am pretty impressed by this box. Now I know that it is very, very expensive. This honestly is something that's a little bit out of my price range. It is quite expensive, but I really could see somebody who is like into like tech and gadgets and like stuff for the house. I could see somebody really enjoying this box. This could also make a very cool gift for somebody for Christmas. If you do have like a friend or a relative who's like very into those kind of things, you get them kind of like a mystery box full of tech gadgety household items. I think that that would be kind of fun. So let me go ahead and read you guys the prices here. We have the Echo Sports in Action Waterproof Camera, which is $99. The Dodow, Dodow, <laughs> Sleep Aid Device, which is $60 for that little guy. Then we have the XOXO Good Grips Cold Brew Coffee Maker, which is $50. The Bottle Blender, which is $25. And then the That Invention Scoop Little Dipper, which is $19 which brings you to a total of $253 for this box. Now the box itself is $159. 
$100, which is a lot of money. I do that. That's a whole lot of money. So you're getting about like $100 extra in value than you invest into the box. And if there are items that you're going to use, I think that's a good deal. However, if they aren't items that you're going to use, then maybe not so much. Subscription boxes are hard like that. It's hard to say if something is worth it because everybody is going to be different. To me, this box is worth it because they're items that I'm personally going to be using. But if you don't like coffee or you don't like ice cream or you're not going to be using a waterproof camera for any reason, then this box probably wouldn't be worth it to you. So everything is just super personal. You just have to figure out where you want to invest your money. Somebody who's not interested in like makeup or beauty would like literally never buy any of the other subscription boxes that I unbox on my channel. But somebody who is into like tech and gadgets might like this box. I personally would love to know all of your all's thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you think about this box down below in the comments. I'll be very, very interested in hearing what you have to say. I know this is quite a different box for the channel, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing something a little bit different. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!